Stone, thank you uh, so much. Uh, the true lessons of the recession. You'll get different opinions from different people. Joining us now from Texas, James K. Galbraith. Professor, uh, good noon to you. Uh, good noon to you. Uh, Robin Rajan was just on Out of Booths, Chicago. It's a different view than Galbraith. And the view is we're not confident the stimulus was well spent. Let me ask you the same question I asked Professor Krugman the other day. Is this about size of stimulus or effectiveness of how we spend stimulus? I think it's mainly about size. It's somewhat about effectiveness, but it's also about other things that needed to have been done and that were not done, including comprehensive reform of the financial sector. So while the, I think the stimulus was a necessary step, there was an assumption that it was in, like, going to be the final step, and that you could have told from the beginning was not going to be right. the case. Here's Rajan on the way towards, uh, towards uh, uh, Galbraith, and this is the Dodd-Frank quote out of his essay. There's a chart on the 10-year yield. Bring up the uh, Rajan quote, if you would, please, uh, uh, William. This is from uh, the hour. Uh, we're working on it right now. This is a Dodd-Frank essay. Is Dodd-Frank a constructive bill? There it is. Uh, legislation such as Dodd-Frank, although much derided for the burdens it imposes, needs to be given a chance to do its job by channeling the private sector's energies away from excess risk-taking. I, I assume you agree with that. What part of Dodd-Frank do we need to put into place now? Well, there are two elements of Dodd-Frank that I think are particularly important. One of them is the consumer protections. Uh, and there, it's not only going forward what uh, <coughs> the financial environment will be for the for the broad public, but also uh, there needs to be a, a much fuller accounting of the practices that led to the debacle. And the second is the resolution authority. We don't know how that would work. We don't know that if it can, if it can be made to work. But until uh, we come to a test of that in an appropriate case, uh, then I think until that moment, that particular part of Dodd-Frank is simply an open right. an open book, an open question. Uh, Professor Rajan worked within the, the nest, the snake pit known as the IMF. You worked in the snake pit known as the Joint Committee uh, at, at Congress a number joint of years ago. Committee, yes. yes, but the Joint Economic Committee, but uh, it, it's a little different Washington now. Can Washington affect the policies you would like now, or have you just given up hope until 2013? Oh, for the moment, I'm not terribly hopeful, and I'm not sure I'm hopeful about 2013. I think the advantage the United States has in the world is that it has functioning governmental institutions. The large parts of the society are still basically working as intended, uh, so we're not in the kind of deep crisis that Europe is in. But can we, in fact, make necessary improvements and reforms? There's obviously very little evidence of that. Uh, Professor Galbraith, here's another Raghun Rajan quote, again, tilting towards Galbraith, and I thought a very balanced essay. Banks were profitable, safe and boring, and the price was paid by depositors who got the occasional toaster instead of market interest rates. What kind of banking system would you like to see? I would like to see one where the institutions are smaller, where they are primarily concerned with underwriting and supporting uh, businesses uh, and, uh, you know, frankly, where we're back in a, a, an environment where uh, we are much under much closer and more effective control. That's what I'd like to see. Whether it is possible to go back in that direction in the modern world it seems to me to be a very uh, questionable proposition. I'm not at all confident of it. You know, this is wonderful. Raghun Rajan from Booth and now from the LBJ School at the University of Texas, James K. Galbraith. We're going to come back.